Hello everyone, I am Michael Ruger. I am the managing partner of Greenbush Financial Group. Today the topic is going to be the Social Security Income Penalty. If you turn on your Social Security early prior to your full retirement age and you're still working, if you make over a specified amount during that year, Social Security can assess a penalty against your benefit. But then the question came up from one of our clients, which was an excellent question, which is, hey, I heard at some point, if those penalties are assessed, you get that money refunded to you. And at first it would seem like, oh, there's no way they're gonna do that. But actually they do. But the way they refunded the money to you is a little bit dicey. So in this video today, I'm gonna go through how that social security income penalty works how they assess it, so if you have to pay it, how do you pay it to Social Security? And then how does that refund work if you end up incurring those penalties later on? I'll start off by explaining how this Social Security income penalty works. If you voluntarily elect to turn on your Social Security benefit prior to your full retirement age, then your Social Security benefit is permanently reduced, but also you are subject to this earnings test that we're gonna talk about today. Now, your full retirement age varies, based on the year that you were born. And if you look at this chart on the left-hand column, you find the year that you were born, and then in the second column, it shows you that is the year you were entitled to your full retirement benefit for Social Security. And when we talk about this earnings test, it only applies if you take Social Security early. Once you have reached your full retirement age, this earning test does not exist. You can make as much as you want in a given year and they don't penalize your Social Security. We're only talking about in the years that you have yet to reach your full Social Security age. Now I want to bring up the chart one more time because there was a column over in the far right hand side that showed how much your Social Security benefit is reduced if you turn it on at age 62. So if you were born 1960 or later and you turn on your Social Security benefit at age 62, they actually permanently reduce your Social Security by 30% as compared to if you waited until age 67. Now that's a permanent reduction. What we're gonna be talking about in this video is this earnings test, which is separate from this permanent reduction in your Social Security benefit for turning it on early. Here's how the Social Security earnings test works. So again, you turn on your Social Security benefit prior to full retirement age and you're still working. You're still having earned income coming in. The IRS sets a limit every single year that says if you earn over a certain threshold, they're gonna start to take away part of that Social Security benefit that you received. In 2022, the income threshold is $19,560. As long as if you get a part-time job and you earn under that amount, no worries, nothing happens. You get to keep all your social security. But as soon as you go above that threshold, they start to assess a penalty of $1 penalty for every $2 you earn over the threshold. So the way the math works out is, it's like a 50% penalty above the threshold. So if you earn $4,000 over that $19,560 in 2022, then they will assess a $2,000 penalty against your Social Security benefit. The next question that naturally comes up is, if I have this $2,000 penalty, I have to pay back to Social Security, how do I pay it? Is it when I file my taxes, all of a sudden I gotta write a check back to them for two grand? Thankfully, that's not how it works. You don't have to write them a check back what they do is they withhold your future Social Security benefit payments until you have kind of fulfilled that amount that was due to them. So let's say your monthly Social Security benefit is a thousand bucks a month, and then you incur a $2,000 penalty because you made too much. The following year, they will withhold two full months worth of your Social Security benefit to essentially pay them back, and then after that, your monthly benefits will resume as normal. Now, the math worked out easy for that one because it was a $2,000 penalty and you were getting $1,000 per month, so it's just two months worth of your Social Security benefit. But what if it's a fraction a month? So let's say the penalty's $2,400 and you're getting 1,000 bucks per month for a benefit. That's actually a 2.4 months worth of penalty they don't take fractional months. It's an all or nothing thing. So as soon as you have a fractional month for a penalty, they actually take that next full month's worth of benefits. So if it's 2.4, they actually take three months of your full social security benefit before they turn it back on. So you'd say, how's that fair? They actually took 
$3,000 of my social security benefit to make up for a $2,400 penalty. That's unfortunately how it works. And they actually refund that $600 back to you as part of this refund process that we're gonna talk about next. Let's talk about how social security sends you the refund amount for all these income penalties that they assessed against you. So it's not as easy as them just sending you a check saying, hey, we withheld six months worth of your social security for all those income penalties. Here's that six months back. That's not how it works. You essentially have to wait until you reach Full retirement age. So let's say that's age 67. So you turn on your benefit early. You may have had some years where you had these income penalties. Let's say over that five year period of time before reaching 67, you incurred six months worth of penalties. So once you turn 67, they don't just turn around and cut you a check for those six months they withheld. What they do is they go back at full retirement age and they recalculate your social security benefit. So when they originally calculated the benefit, let's say you turned it on 62, they discounted it permanently for the rest of your life. But if let's say you started at 62, but incurred six months worth of penalties, what they do is they say, well, instead of calculating as if you started at 62, we're gonna add those six months back in your calculation. So we're gonna assume you turned it on at 62 and six months. And what that does is it slightly increases your social security benefit from that point forward. So it could actually take you a few years to get that money back at those slightly higher payments, but that's how that recalculation takes place. After hearing all this, some people will ask, well then why wouldn't everyone just turn on their social security payments early? If you can get it earlier, and if you make a little bit more, they essentially give it back to you later on. There are other considerations besides just this earned income penalty that you have to take into account before turning on your social security benefit early. And some of them are, you know, the impact on the survivor benefits for your spouse, that actual break even analysis that happens of turning it on early at a lower amount versus waiting at a higher amount, knowing how social security benefits are taxed. Uh, taking advantage of the automatic increase each year if you wait, the 50% spousal benefit, and also your life expectancy also come into play. And because there's so many of these other variables, I actually have another article and video that I will include in the description of this video below that you can read more about those other factors that can come into your decision for Social Security. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at moneysmartboard.com. Thank you.